Why do we use the term black music? How can the blues or jazz or R&B or hip hop be black? Music doesn't have a color, right? Well, it kind of does. I'm Dara Star Tucker, and this is The Breakdown. Understanding why music might be referred to as black requires us to understand a few basic facts about race and culture. Blackness in the U.S. is not just a color and it's not just a racial grouping. It's an ethnicity and a distinct cultural grouping. Ethnicity is the result of the natural development of common practices and shared history between groups of people. The Encyclopedia Britannica defines an ethnic group as a social group or category of the population that in a larger society is set apart and bound together by common ties of race, language, nationality or culture. Now, we all know that race is a construct, mostly developed to further colonial concerns, but Black American ethnicity developed in the United States because that group of people was forcibly removed from their cultures of origin. They were forbidden from speaking the languages or practicing the religions of their ancestors, but they were also cut off from mainstream culture in the U.S. Their churches were forcibly segregated. When they were finally permitted to learn, their learning spaces were segregated. Housing was segregated, oftentimes by federal government mandates, so they were forced to live separately from the culture at large. Because of this, we had to develop a set of distinct cultural practices. We developed an informal dialect of our own, often referred to as African American vernacular English. We developed our own cuisine, soul food, largely based on creating nourishment out of scarcity. And we developed our own music, Black American music, which became an expression of the joy, the pain, the hardship, and the triumph of being Black in the United States. Now, just because we were cut off from our cultures of origin doesn't mean that those influences aren't felt in the culture that we developed here. Many of those Western and Central African influences can still be felt in Black American culture today. You can see it in our religious and spiritual practices, you can taste it in our food, and you can hear it in our music. And just because we were cut off from mainstream culture in the U.S. doesn't mean we weren't influenced by it. European harmonic influences and song structures are quite prevalent in most Black American music forms, but that doesn't mean it's not Black. When we say Tejano music as Mexican American music, for instance, we understand that it carries influences from polka and waltzes, which originated in Germany and Poland. But ultimately, Tejano music emanates from the cultural identity and will of a specific ethnic group within the United States, Mexican Americans. When we say that a cultural expression like hip hop is black, it doesn't mean that it's free of outside influence. It's not math, it's culture. Identifying something as a product of a distinct culture or ethnicity doesn't mean that it has to meet certain standards of cultural purity. It means that it was born out of the shared experiences, mindsets, practices, identities, and innovative spirit of a specific ethnic group. Genres like hip hop, jazz, R&B, and the blues are referred to as black music because they came from black people, more specifically an ethnic group within the U.S. known as black Americans. And like any other musical expression, black music can be shared and appreciated by people of any nationality or color the world over.